All right, I'm just going to tag on outfit of the day because I've not had a chance to do it. Um, and of course, my camera starts to act up. All right, so I am wearing these. This is from the 99 cent store. These little dangles. I got them in silver and of course they're festive. I forgot to put my earrings on. I did. I, I love this silver one from Joanne's. So I'm really glad I got it. I am wearing, of course, um, another rayon turtleneck. I have two of them. I love, love, love them. And this is my new skirt from Sheen. And look at it's a size large. It's big in the waist, but snug, of course, like in the thigh and hip area, which is the story of Crystal's life. And I've got my fake hair on. And then my boots. All right. One thing about over the knee boots is they tend to fall. So you got to keep put, should, bending over and putting them up. So let me show you. These are really cute. If you guys can see them. You probably really can't see them. But I wanted to wear these boots because, I don't know, I felt like it. And I really like this skirt by Sheen. It does zip up on the side. And I will go to the other mirror so you all can see me better. But, um, yeah, this is what I wore. And, of course, I'm wearing tights. And, I don't know, people said I looked cute. So maybe I did, maybe I don't. Maybe it's because I'm dressing festive. But my camera acts up in this mirror. I'm not sure why. So hold on. All right, now you can see, like, how ridiculously, like, I can fit my whole, like, a whole palm. But yet it's snug, like, in the butt and thighs. So that's just something, I don't know. There's nothing I can do about that. Um... Unless I have it taken in. I mean, I could have it taken in. Because it's like ridic ridiculous. Or I could fold it up. But that would look dumb. So, and then, then it would shorten it. It's already hard to like bend over in this thing. So, anyways. Um, I totally forgot about putting on some cute earrings. But I think I was festive enough with my necklaces. And my, my bling bling. So, um... Anyways, during Christmas, I'm going to be doing, probably for the most part, almost every day, I'll be doing outfit of the day. I don't know if I'm always going to be dressing Christmassy, although knowing me, because it's so fun, I'll be having something Christmassy, whether it's jewelry or I don't know. I think I want to find like a cute barrette for my fake hair and put it like right here because, you know, this all this tackiness is just not enough. You know, I got to have like a big bow on my head, too. <laughs> but anyways, um... The skirt, like everything I'm wearing again is from Shine, but um, I don't know if this is like a different cut. It has to be a different cut because I tried on the black one and the one that's in camel and it does not fit like this. So I don't do well. Straight cuts are not for crystal. Um, I need like an A-line cut where it goes in at the waist and then out on the hips and thighs. But, you know, still cute, still fun. All right, everyone, I am home late because Crystal went shopping and <laughs> me at the grocery store is just, yeah, I get so easily distracted. But I'm going to be loading up three videos. I hope you all enjoy them. As always, have a great day or a great evening, and I will see you all later, my friends. Thank you so very much for all of your support. I truly appreciate it. Hello, friends. We do have a Walmart haul and a grocery haul from 99 cent store Aldi and grocery outlet. First, just to get into our Walmart haul, I did end up buying the um, cute towels. There are only two left from um, Pioneer Woman, $5. This one has the cute recipe. Love her little signature with the Tiffany teal and the little, looks like doilies. And then what I like is this second I love the second um, towel almost as much as I like the first one. So I thought, you know what, with the little cute pink gumdrops, the candy cane, more green gumdrops. I was like, oh, I love it. So a little holly, the Christmas tree, and then the peppermint heart. So, I mean, really a good deal because both are super cute. So glad I ran into that at... Um, at Walmart. And then if you're wondering where this came from, this came from LTD. I ordered this like back in July or June and I'm finally being able to bust it out. Um, this was, this tray I think was like $9.99 or maybe $12.99. And then I have the salt and pepper shakers and they're the big ones. These, these are probably going to go on top of my, I bought a shelf for my new oven. So these might go in the back of, I'm sorry, on the shelf. I don't know if I'm going to keep them here on the um, dining room table. But I did find these, and I've never used them from last year or maybe two years ago. Actually, I got them for free. Well, the 99 cent store would give stuff away for free, all the seasonal stuff that they didn't 
um, sell, and I don't know if these light up or what they do, but they're cute. They have the little mirrors, and then I have the little sparkly tea lights to go with them because, as you can see, my whole um, motif is a deep red, so I'm trying to keep with that. I'm still not sure where the boot's going to go, so just thought I'd throw that out there. And then I also have a magnet for my dishwasher, and it's the same print as this. It's huge, so I need to um, put that out. I just found it again. I didn't get a whole lot at Walmart because, I don't know, um, I did get an apple pie and a little blueberry pie, for two for a dollar. My husband ate the apple one, so I guess the blueberry's mine, 320 calories, Ouch. That's a tiny pie for 320 calories. <laughs> but anyways, I did haul two of the pies. Because I was like, oh, those look good. And then I have been really looking for this. So when I found it at the Walmart, I was like, I had to get this. Love her. I think she's adorable. Merry Christmas with a little applique wreath. And she, the whole thing is an applique. So if I ever, you know, get tired of this, I can try and lift this applique up and still use it. Um, this is actually a stake for outside, a 26-inch yard stake, $4.96. Yep, but it, they also know that people are probably going to hang it, and that's why they have that little hook right there. So I wanted to get all three, but I already have the Mrs. Snowman, and I should have gotten the Santa Claus. I know if I go back, they're gone, but I definitely had to have her for the Christmas season. And I think I, I'm not sure where I'm going to put her, but she's absolutely adorable. All right. So anyways, that was just a small, a very small Walmart haul. As you know, I've been hauling a lot of Christmas stuff and I barely have enough room for everything that I have. All right. We're going to get in to the, um, I guess we'll start off, we'll kick it off with the 99 cent star. All right, the Gold Peak iced tea was only 99 cents, and it's the unsweetened. So I did grab another one because my husband drank the raspberry Gold Peak iced tea. So decided to just get another one anyways. Then they had this, which was a really good deal. And this was the 12 pack for $2.99. And these are the large ones. So you get the Chips Ahoy, four cookies, you get four Netter Butters, and six Oreos. And again, you get 12 of these. So for $2.99, I decided to go for it. Um, the expiration date was not bad, which is why I did it. I think the expiration date is December 13th. So not too bad. This was the last one. I found it thrown somewhere. Then I also picked up the um, Pillsbury Brownie Bark Mix Chocolate Chip. And expiration date is January 16th, 2021. And I believe that was 99 cents. These were $1.49. And these are the Pillsbury Chocolate Fudge Brownies. Six of them. And they're individually packed. Again, if you wanted to do... I know you, you guys talk about Crystal's crazy Christmas ideas. But you could put this in a cute mug as well. And include like the marshmallows and the hot cocoa. And you have enough to do six mugs. And you only spent $1.49 um, to get these cute little brownies. So um, expiration date though is December 4th. So I mean you might want to watch out. But seriously I don't think it's going to go bad you know by the 25th. And it... Anyways... Or you could bake the brownie bark, you know. You'll get, how many servings will you get out of this? Ten. So, either or. Um, I also picked up the Pioneer Woman Ranch Dressing and Dip Spicy Southwestern. This expiration date is December 27th, 2020. And I love this Herdez Cilantro Lime Salsa, and it's the creamy kind. It's kind of high in calories. It's 50 for two tablespoons. That's kind of a lot. But expiration date is, let's see what this says, July 2021. And these were only 99 cents. So I did grab two of the Herdez, some cilantro lime. And then, of course, we are going through a lot of batteries because it's Christmas. And I need some more double A's because I have so much stuff that needs batteries still. So that is what I hauled from the 99. Again, not hauling a lot from the 99, only if it's really good deals. And I think I did okay at the 99. All right, we're getting the grocery outlet. Grocery outlet, I picked up the smart ones, the mini cheeseburgers, because I like them and so does my husband. So I'll probably be eating those for dinner. Then they had, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, 
these are six. So you get six of them. They're like five dollars. Uh, best by January 22nd, 2021. I also picked up the Gogurt Dunkers Vanilla. And then you get low-fat yogurt and chocolate graham sticks. You get four trays. These were 99 cents. Well, a dollar. No colors or flavors from artificial um, sources. So I thought, you know what? That's a pretty good deal. December 14th, 2020. And then I grabbed some more um, cranberries because I'm going to make myself a fresh batch of cranberries. And that is all I picked up from Grocery Outlet. So where I picked up a lot of stuff was from um, Aldi. And I ended up getting these because it's the holidays. And this is the Cookie Continental Specialty Selected Cookie Assortment, a selection of various chocolate cookies and wafers, a pound, 1.6 ounces. These look just so yummy and holiday, so... These were a good deal. These were $3.99. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I think, let me see. Oh, okay. You open it up from here. It's like break all my cookies. Let me see if I can open it. All right. So the assortment's going to come up. But I'd like to show you all what I, oops. And of course, I already messed up. Let's see. Hold on. There you go. There it is. So I thought those would make for good desserts with some hot chocolate. I love the white cho hot chocolate. I'm sorry, the white chocolate heart. <laughs> Couldn't get that out. Anyways, shortbread covered in chocolate. These look so yummy. So yay, got those. Then my husband likes this popcorn and so do I. And this was the Clancy popcorn and this was white and dark drizzled caramel corn. A pound. I think it's like was two ninety nine. So again, another really cute gift, cute wrapping, and you could put it in. You know, take it out of the bag and put it in like a cute box and line it with tissue paper. And you could probably get four servings and get like the little boxes and then pair that with a cute mug. So thought I'd throw that out there. And I was able to find spinach, fresh spinach. It was like was eighty nine cents, I think. Um. I also grabbed two tomatoes for 89 cents. And I'm also going to be posting an Aldi shop with me where we found lots of goodies, not just this stuff, but lots of cool stuff. And then um, I picked up some lunch meat, and this is premium oven roasted chicken breast. And the expiration date is January 18th, 2021 for that. And then that's not all I picked up at Aldi. I also grabbed some zucchini because I have a organic zucchini, nature, simply nature, because I have a recipe I want to do. I think I told you all, I want to, what you do is you throw some butter in a pan and you put corn and I will need some tomato, slice up some tomato, or I can put salsa in there. Someone told me to put salsa and cheese. And you let it stew up, and it is so good, especially on a really cold day. It's nice and cheesy, and it's just comfort food. All right. I also grabbed... Hold on. And I bought my husband some croissant, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. Heat for 2 minutes and 25 seconds. It's just a four count, and I think it was like three eighty-five, so it comes out to less than a dollar a piece. I also picked up some um, mini avocados, um, and these were two. They were less than I think these were. I don't know. I don't even know how much these were. But I'm pretty sure they were less than the ninety-nine cent store, which is why I hauled them. I also grabbed a blend of Colby and Monterey finely shredded cheese, best by March 3rd, 2021. This is three cups, so 12 ounces. And then I also picked up some, um, whatchamacallit, um, some bananas for my husband. So yeah, that is, I went to three different stores today and this is what I picked up. I spent $25 at Aldi. I spent 10 at um grocery outlet and i think like about about 10 at um the 99 cent store so not a whole lot for 45 dollars 
<laughs> but, you know, um, yeah, I mean, some of these were good deals, you know, like the Gogurt Dunkers were good deals. This, These were $1.99 still, the, the fresh cranberries. These were a decent deal, considering you get 16 of these, I believe. Wait, no, you get six. And the popcorn was a decent, I mean, the popcorn and the cookies weren't necessities. Those are just like, you know, fun stuff for Christmas. And I don't know how much I paid for the bananas. This wasn't that bad. I think this was like was two something. But yeah. All right. Hold on.